Nick here, let's begin with the LG G Stylo. We have a 5.7 inch HD display, a 5 megapixel front camera. On the bottom we have a micro USB port. Going off to the side there is nothing. Then we have an 8 megapixel camera here and a laser autofocus and LED flash, volume up and down and the power button. Over to the top, we have the stylus and the favorite feature of this device where you can write on the screen of the LG G Stylo, hence the name of the device. Now, let's go ahead and go over to the ZTE Z Max 2. So the ZTE Z Max 2 has a 5.49 inch display, almost 5.5 inches you could say. A 2 megapixel front camera going off to the bottom, micro USB port. Going off to the sides we have a power button and our volume rocker switch. Going off to the back you're going to find yourself an 8 megapixel camera with an LED flash and a grippy texture leather back and uh, a speaker grill at the bottom here. Also, we're going to put these babies side by side. You can see the speaker on the LG G Stylo is at, located on the left side, but you can see LG G Stylo and ZTZ Max 2 are not, you know, the skinniest phones. They're pretty chunky um, compared to a lot of the thinner phones today, but they are, you know, serviceable and they'll do just fine to get the job done. Now we're going to go ahead and switch things over and head into a boot up test where I'm going to boot these babies up and I'm going to speed this up quite a bit. So, uh, Let's just hold on a bit, get these babies booted up because we don't want to sit here and watch this whole thing. So let's speed this up. Okay guys, we are back and let's talk about the software. The LG G Stylo booted up quicker than the ZTZ Max 2, but we are both running Lollipop here. And you're going to find that we are running Android Lollipop 5.1.1 on the LG G Stylo. But heading over to the ZTE Z Max 2, we are running Android 5.1, although the differences are pretty big in terms of software skinning, but not the software itself. So pretty guys, in this section we're going to talk about the general UI performance and kind of the buttery smoothness of both, and both are pretty buttery smooth as you can see throughout this video, you're seeing that both are not going to be too much different in terms of the actual just, you know, breezing through the apps, breezing through the home screen, and you know, all those kinds of things. And um, the LG G Stylo has the LG skinning, but the ZTE Z Max 2 has more of a stock flavor of Android. So they both, you know, match up pretty well because the LG skinning is not too heavy in terms of performance. But overall, I think you're not going to have a problem on either. One has 1.5 gigs RAM, that's the G Stylo, and the other has 2 gigs of RAM, that's the ZTE Z Max 2. Let's uh, point out a little difference. The ZTE Z Max 2 has home buttons and, you know, recent multitasking and back button on the bottom of the screen. And whereas the LG G Stylo has them on screen. So that's a little bit of a difference between the two. Now let's get into the famed ADD test on the channel or our app switching test. And uh, let's go into, let's see, settings, see how that goes out. And uh, let's just go into and find another app. Let's see. Let's go into calendar here and see that both of them are opening pretty much similar. Let's go and find another app here. Um, let's see what we're going to get here. Let's look for something else in the app drawer. Let's find calculator. Okay, that's cool. Both of them opened up at the similar time. Let's go into settings one more time just to see how that opening in the background. And uh, as you can see, performance is almost identical between these two. And that's probably because they both have a Snapdragon 410 processor, same CPU camera performance about the same this these phones are so identical i mean there's not much you know difference between them although the lg g stylo has the added benefit of the stylus which does make it for you know a little bit more feature rich than the dte z max 2 although i don't think it's too much better in terms of overall performance although it did boot up quicker so it's kind of up to you in this one if you're gonna like lg over the um, ZTE or ZTE over the LG and let's go into this website testing let's go and check out Yahoo looks like the ZTE Z Max 2 got there first and uh, let's go check out Techno Buffalo or something similar to that technobuffalo.com here on the ZTE Z Max 2 having a little bit of tapping troubles behind the screen let's get it over here on the G Stylo and let's hit go at the same time once we get this thing loaded up and it uh, looks like we have both and uh, let's go and you can see Techno Buffalo loaded on both of the devices. Now let's kind of get into a uh, multitasking switch test. So kind of checking how fast things open from the background for RAM management. So you can see calendar open up just fine here on the ZTE Z Max 2 as well as the G Stylo. And we're just going to go through a couple more apps. And you can see camera open quicker on the ZTE. So one here to the ZTE, one here to there to the G Stylo and both basically they're both going to be decent performers here and there. They're both, one's going to be quicker here, one's going to be quicker there. 
So performance about dead even here on both of these devices. So that pretty much is going to wrap this video up guys. LG G Stylo versus ZTE Z Max 2 or however you want to say it. You could say it either way. It's a head to head battle. We do this all the time over here. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below in the description area as well as any comments, thoughts, or concerns, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.